What's up guys, welcome back to my channel, it's your boy Presley here. Alright guys, today I'm going to be showing you some awesome hacks on how to make neons, or even mega neons, super fast. Alright guys, if you've seen some of my last videos, you guys would have seen that I'm giving away a ton of fly potions, I'm giving away bat wings, and I just gave away a hero's costume. So if you want to know how to enter the awesome giveaway, make sure to stick around because I'll show you how to enter later in the video. Guys, today I reached my 39th day login streak, which means tomorrow I'll get my 40th day login streak and I'm just gonna check what prize I get. So let's go into the star rewards. So guys, I need 14 more stars until I can get the human bubble, which is super cool. But how many stars do I get tomorrow? That's what I need to know. Okay, I only get 12 stars tomorrow. So in three days, I get to get the human bubble. Let me know your login streak down in the comments below. All right guys, so the hacks I'm going to show you today are all about leveling up your pets so that you can make neons. Guys, neon pets are really easy to find in your backpack because they have the little N symbol on their icon, along with the F and R symbol standing for fly and ride. So this is Beyonce, my Neon B, which is super bright, probably one of the most neon pets in all of Adopt Me. So I've also got Kevin, my koala, which is super cool. He's one of my favorite pets. Let's just go and put his little blue cap on. This is like Kevin's only outfit that he wears. He wears it like every day, which I really like. So I've got George, who's also neon, and I really like George, because he's like super bright blue as well. I will name him George and I will hug him and pet him and squeeze him. Is anybody else neon? I think I've got a few. All right, guys, so I haven't got a name for my emu, so let me know down in the comments below your ideas because you guys came up with some awesome names for my unicorns, so I think you guys will do an awesome job for this emu. The first time I found out about the neon cave was when I did a challenge about it over on my family channel, Empire Fam. Go check that out after this video. And then I found this awesome little cave and I went into it, I had no idea what it was, and then I watched some YouTube videos and found out that it was the Neon Cave. So if we just walk through here, there's an awesome little area here. We've got some crystals just hanging from like the ceiling. And then we've got Nixie here who runs everything in the Neon Cave. So pretty much you need four fully grown pets of the same type, put them on the pedestals, and then you get a Neon Pet. I think I've got four fully grown cats at the moment that I can make a Neon of. So I've got Kit Kat here and then I'm stuck in this cat's body is full grown. So let's get that one out and put it on the pedestal. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be super cool. Oh, the cat looks kind of sad. Okay, no, it's normal. For a second it was like facing the floor, like it was crying, and I'm like, don't worry, you're only going to be fused into one pet. You're only going to be neon after this, which is cool. So we've also got um, just the normal cat, which is full grown. Okay, let's put this next cat on. This is like named with emojis. I think I got this one from trading because I don't usually name my pets with emojis, but I should probably get around to it because it's a really cool idea. So let's put that one there and it's time to put on the last one. And I'm going to need a catchy name for this cat once it's a neon. So let me know your ideas down in the comments below. Just with the emu's name, I need some awesome ideas. And even if you've got any ideas for any of my pets, let me know them down in the comments below because I want to get some super catchy names for all of my pets. So it's time to place this last cat. Let's get out hello and put it down there. Oh my gosh, this is gonna look super cool. So they're all like glowing and then they're all going to go into the middle. Oh my gosh, guys, this is super cute. Take a look at this cat. Oh my gosh, it's like glowing pink. Let's head out into like the normal world. Let's hope that it's nighttime right now so it's all going to be like dark and spooky. Well, it's pretty dark and spooky in here, but I think it would look cooler outside. Take a look at this bad boy, guys. This is super cute. Oh my gosh, guys. So guys, the six levels that you're going to have to level up all to the end are newborn, junior, preteen, teen, post-teen, and then once you finish post-teen, you're going to get a fully grown pet. And once you do this four times, you're going to be able to make a neon. So guys, make sure to stick around because I'll tell you all of the awesome hacks on how to pass all of those stages super quick on all four of your pets. So guys, while I'm doing these hacks, I'm going to want to level up a pet. So I've got some dingoes, which would be really cool to make neon, but I do already have a neon one of those. So let's skip past those guys and let's head up. Okay, I think I might try and make a legendary neon soon. So I'll get out Starburst, my post-teen unicorn, and let's level her up so we can get an awesome neon unicorn. And the first hack, yeah, takes place in the school, which is perfect because my unicorn wants to go to school. So let's just head into here. Let's go through and I'll show you this first hack, which is so simple, guys. All you need to do is just come into the school and then turn to this left room here. And then on this desk, you'll see the teacher's apple. It just looks like a normal apple to everybody who doesn't know about it, but it's actually got a secret meaning to be there. The developers have put it there for a free source 
awesome food for everybody who's like poor and new to the game, but even the people who have been playing for a while and have some good pets can still take it. So let's just click here and we can take this apple for free so we can give it to our pets and we don't have to waste money on food. And if we just take heaps and heaps of these, then we can give them to our pets anywhere to level them up from anywhere. We can do it in secret rooms, we can do it in our houses, who cares where it is, you can just feed it anywhere. So right now my unicorn is hungry, so if I go and feed it to her on the desk, okay, it's it's just trying to eat it through the desk. So as you can see, I just got money from that and it did level up just a little bit from feeding it the apple, which is awesome. So the next hack is over at the grocery store, which is just around this corner. Most people don't know about this shop, but it's actually super cool because it's got so many items of food. Most people think that it's just a house that has been put here, just like the little plots that you can get with the Roblox Game Pass, but it's actually a store where you can buy some food. So if we just head into here, then we can buy some water, which is the best item here. And it's the cheapest water in like all of Adopt Me. So we can just buy heaps and heaps of it and it stays in your backpack forever. Well, until you drink it, of course. But we can just feed it to our pet. Like, let's just feed it to our unicorn and she can drink it. And then we can feed it to her anywhere on the map, just like the teacher's apple. And you can level up that little bit of XP from feeding it anywhere at any time if you have this. All right, guys. So another hack to be able to get some fully grown pets really fast is to go and trade with some people and see if they have the full grown pet that you want. I got my sister's account in here for a quick demonstration. So let's say that you're trying to make a neon red panda and then you see someone in Adopt Me and they have a fully grown red panda right there then you could go and ask them if they will be willing to trade their fully grown red panda for whatever pets you have so you could just say are you willing to trade your fully grown red panda and then they could say yes or no and she said yes so then they'll put in the fully grown red panda and you can put in absolutely anything I'm just gonna put in a normal panda for this so let's go and scroll down actually I'll just put in an arctic fox so this would be a decently good trade, a fully grown red panda for an arctic fox. And then you would just press accept, hope that they press accept, and then you have the fully grown red panda that you would have had to work and work and work for if you were doing it manually, but you can just trade with other people. So guys, this hack is really useful for if you don't have too much time in your hands to level up your pets, you can just go and trade with some other people who you see have those pets. Guys, to get a common pet fully grown, it takes not too much time, but to get a legendary pet fully grown, it takes forever. So the higher rarity of the pet, the longer it takes to make it fully grown. So the different types of rarities are common and then uncommon. Then you've got rare, ultra rare, and the best pets ever are the legendaries. Like everybody loves legendary pets. All right guys, so for this next hack, you're going to need a friend's account or a family member's account because you're going to be using their account to level up your pets super fast. So I just spawned my sister into the game on my phone and right now I just need to go to the neighborhood so I can meet her. So let's go through the exit and I just need to walk over or we'll fly over. Wait, is she? Wait, she's not in the game. Oh wait, no, my phone just went flat. That works perfectly. Alright guys, so my sister just spawned into the game and I've got her here, so I'm just going to move that to the side for now. So guys, for this hack, you're going to need any other device, like any other device in the house where you can play Roblox on. And I heard on a Windows computer, you can like get Roblox from the App Store and from the online browser and you can play two at once. That's just what I heard, I'm not too sure about that, so don't quote me on that guys, I'm not 100% sure. And here she is, and now I just need to trade with her the pet that I want to become fully grown. So I just sent her a trade request to need to acceptor on both devices. So I'm just going to add in Sparkles, my other unicorn, and we can just wait for the trade to time out. So we can just accept this and then accept it on this account. And then that was probably the dumbest trade ever, trading a fly ride unicorn for nothing. I'm sure that she'll give it back because I'm in control of her account. Like right now I can do whatever I want to her account. Until she walks in. All right guys, so the next step is to open a family, just create the family, and then invite the other account to the family. So invite a family, we sent an invitation, and now there should be a green thing. Okay, now there's a green thing above her head. And then your friend's account has to go and take out the pet, whichever pet that you've given them. And now you've got two of the pet that you want to level up with you. One of them, they could both be at different stages, they could both be newborn, both be post-teen, or just like me, post-teen and pre-teen. No matter what, it will still level up as you do this hack. Guys, next you just need to put your friend's account into like a house or somewhere that you're not going to go. Because if I drop Sparkle, 
Charles, the pet that's on Miss Charlie's account, then if I drop her, she'll just teleport straight to Miss Charlie. So even if I'm all the way over here and drop her, she'll just cling back to that account. So she just runs and runs to cling back to that account. But if I pick up both of them and go out of the exit and then drop both of them, they'll follow me. So if I drop both, they'll both just follow me. And my sister is still out of the exit. She's still like not doing anything. She's nowhere close as you can see. This is a VIP server so there's like no chance that they're following anybody else. They're just following me. And I've got two unicorns which looks kind of crazy. Imagine this with like 10 unicorns. That would, that would be awesome. 10 unicorns. Just following you. Alright guys, so a grinding area is really useful when you're trying to level up your pets. So I've made an awesome grinding area in this room. It's I called it the pet resort. And then if we go in here, it looks super cool. We've got some beds just here. And then we've got a bubble bath little area. And then we've got some food and water bowls. So we can just put the pets into the bath. And they can just sit there looking at each other, both having a bath. And then I'll get money for both of these. So this is pretty much like a money hack as well. So we'll just wait and it fills up both of their needs. So as you can see, sparkles just leveled up which is super cool and now we just need to complete all of their needs so there we go they're both drinking oh my gosh this is actually so cool this is such a fast way though to like level up your pets because instead of doing one at a time you can do two at a time or three at a time you could even do like a hundred pets at a time if you have a hundred devices to do um, so guys, this is like the best hack to do it with and you can even make like a basic one I just made this little resort room because I thought I could use it in heaps of videos and it looks kind of cool Like I quite like it, but I might have to change like the color of these little food dispensers So it looks a bit nicer. Okay, there we go. So now it looks super nice guys in adopt me There's two different types of tasks there's the blue tasks, such as eating, drinking, sleeping, or having a shower. And then there's the orange tasks. So the orange tasks make you go to a certain area or certain location to make you have to complete them. So Adopt Me is just getting you to walk around the map. So a way to do these tasks quicker is to buy or trade for a vehicle. So right now I do have heaps of vehicles. So the legendary vehicles are usually really fast, such as the motorcycle and the hoverboard. They're the fastest vehicles I've found, but the rocket sled is super fast. That's like the super fast fastest vehicle of all time but guys if you've got a hoverboard or a motorcycle use that when getting from place to place and it will be about a hundred times faster than walking which is awesome using vehicles could save your time so much because I would have walked for about a minute to get to the school but instead I just used my motorcycle and I got there in 10 seconds guys there are some really cheap vehicles around the map such as in the car showroom there's an awesome bike and it's 75 bucks and it's pretty fast not as fast as the motorcycle but I'll just show you how fast it goes like it's definitely faster than just walking so guys if you just stand in one place for 20 minutes on roblox they automatically kick you from the game so make sure to move your friends account every 10 or 20 minutes because like i'm moving it right now because i don't want this to get kicked from the game because then i'll lose the unicorn and i'll have to like get into the same server again get into the same place and it gets a little bit confusing once you do that so make sure to just move it every five to ten minutes to make sure that that doesn't happen all right guys so as you can see up the top there's a unicorn that's thirsty and I can't actually tell which unicorn is which except for if I like drop one then it will delete the task okay so now I know that sparkles is the one that's thirsty because when I dropped it the task just disappeared from there so let's pick up sparkles and let's head back home because I need to find a food bowl wait okay so now they're both thirsty so as you can see, if I was just to click on Starburst, which is the one from my account, I can do all of these things. I can pick it up, I can ride, feed, dress up, and then I can do tricks and I can fly it. Where if I click on Sparkles, which is right now on my sister's account, it only says pick up. So I can't go and feed it a healing apple or some water because I just can't since it's on my sister's account. So to feed your other account's pet, you just need to go to a food or water bowl, which is either in the school or in your house. So right now they both need to go to the hospital, both need a shower and both need some water so I'm gonna head back up to my little grinding room to do this and guys make sure to stick around on my channel this week because I'm going to show you how to make the most awesome grinding room ever like I've got an awesome grinding room in one of my other houses and it's crazy guys so I'm gonna show you how to make the best grinding house in a future video so make sure to stick around for that but I just need to go through here and do these two tasks oh my gosh four tasks and both of them need to do it this is like luxury for me Alright guys, so the last hack are the teleportation hacks, which is super simple. So all you need to do is just click on your backpack 
and then go to wherever you want to go. So if you want to go to the nursery, you go to pets and then scroll up and click on get more. And then it says teleport to the nursery to adopt pets. And I'm just gonna say no, because I don't want to go there. You could go to the pet shop, you could go to the baby shop, you could go to the car showroom, or you could go to gifts. And going to gifts is the one that I use the most because it's like right in the middle of everything. All right guys, so it's time to announce another winner of one of the giveaways. Guys, make sure to enter the giveaway on every video because then you have the best chances of winning. So guys, to enter the giveaways, all you need to do is subscribe to my channel, leave a like, and let me know down in the comments below your Roblox username and a hashtag pretzel army for your chance to win some awesome items just like a bunch of other giveaway winners. All right guys, so the winner of another fly potion is Bronwyn Vernon. Congratulations, Bronwyn. I'm going to send you a trade request in Roblox so that we can organize a time for me to give you an awesome fly potion. This is so cool. But guys, don't panic if you didn't win this giveaway because I'm still giving away a pair of bat wings and heaps more fly potions, guys. So you guys know what to do to enter the giveaway and win just like Bronwyn. Join the Pretzel Army, leave a like, subscribe, and have the best day ever, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.